Okay. Uh, okay, how about the equal error rates of some of these different uh, biometrics? Uh, they say the fingerprint biometric, uh, you know, the kind that you would get on a cheap laptop computer or something like that, has an equal error rate of about 5%. Uh, it doesn't mean, you know, the fraud rate would be exactly 5%, maybe it's a little bit lower than that. But still, you know, if you go up and you try to be, uh, if I try to be Alice enough times, I'm going to get in. <laughs> so that's pretty, you know, that's a pretty bad error rate. Uh, the hand geometry thing we talked about on the other hand is about, on the other hand, yeah. is about one in a thousand, okay, so that's, uh, you know, a little more reasonable. But the iris scan, that's the big one, okay, it has an equal error rate, something on the order of one in a million. Uh, but as I mentioned, you know, some people say that's kind of hard to achieve in practice, so, so, so it could, could be an issue. Okay, other biometrics that people talk about, most of those are a lot worse than fingerprints. So. Uh, maybe the bottom line here is the authentication problem, it, it's conceivable. You could use these biometrics for authentication, but the identification problem is just inherently so much more difficult. All right? um, oh, and I did want to mention, uh, 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 do you people, any of you people watch Mythbusters? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Mythbusters, okay. I thought all geeks watch Mythbusters. You know, they're just kind of nerdy guys, and you just gotta watch them. Anyway, one of the shows, what they did, is they, they got um, um, a, a door lock, a thumbprint door lock, okay? So it opens via a, th a thumbprint, right? And they wanted to test how strong it was. Now, the best part was the promotional literature for this door lock said it had never been broken. <laughs> so it's just a challenge, right? They have to see if they can break it. So what they did is they had one of their uh, assistants, you know, set it up for himself. So only he can get into this door lock. Right? Well, okay, now they have to try to defeat the system. So the first thing they need is his thumbprint. Right? Somehow or another, they have to get his thumbprint. So that was pretty easy. They gave him a CD case, he grabbed it, and they took it back. <laughs> they had a very nice thumbprint. Okay, so they had his thumbprint there. Um, and the, so they took, a, you know, just the thing you would do if you were in a criminal investigation, right? Uh, get the thumbprint. And then they photocopied the thumbprint. And it's just on a piece of paper, you know, cleaned it up, cleaned up the image a little bit so it looked just like this person's thumbprint. So they took that, put it down on the uh, thing, and it didn't work. So that's pretty good, okay? At least, you know, it doesn't, you know, it takes more than a photocopy of the thumbprint to make it work. So then they got really sophisticated and they made the, you know, ballistics gel, the stuff they're always shooting bullets through and stuff. So they made this ballistics gel uh, thumb. <laughs> It really was like a mold you could put over over your thumb, and they etched in uh, exactly this guy's uh, uh, fingerprints to it. And they wouldn't even tell you how they did this; like it was so top secret, right? They could, you know, they're afraid everybody's going to be breaking into uh, everybody's doors or something. So they put it, put that on, put it over some person's real thumb, put it on the thing, and it worked. Okay, so they got in. Okay, now the best part was, after all that, you know, spending half the show making this ballistics gel thumb thing, you know, making it work. They come to the end of the show, and the guy just walks by, sees the little cut-out piece of paper of the thumbprint they started with, picks it up, licks his thumb, puts it on, and it works. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. Okay, so biometrics, the bottom line, you know, they're hard to forge, okay? It's hard to guess somebody's biometric and things like that that you can do with the passwords. You know, what could you do? You could steal Alice's thumb, steal her. You know, I would rather give somebody my password. You know, here's my password. Take it, please. <laughs> okay. Or a photocopy or whatever. Uh, you know, if the biometric's not working, how do you revoke it? You know, what do you do about that? That's a lot harder problem than you have with passwords. So that's a potential negative using biometrics as compared to passwords. So bottom line, I guess, they're not foolproof. They have sort of issues as well. But given how bad passwords are, how much potential there is here, I would expect you would see more of these in the future. I used to say near future, now I just say future. <laughs> All right.